Hi, this is Jago Sims. So since the channel are getting more views in the past two months since January this year and there are some requests from the students, so I decided to continue filming the lecture series. So here we go. This is chapter six, linear inequalities in two variables. So first, what is linear inequality? So we are very familiar with the equal sign. Okay, so that, that means that everything on the left side is equal to the right side. For example, we have 1 plus 1. So this is equal to 2, right? So we know that the left side is equal to the right side. So we are very familiar with the equal sign. Okay, and if we have a unknown, and then you tell it is equal to 2, and then we know this value is equal to 2. But what if one thing is not equal to one thing? Okay, so it's not equal to one thing. For example, x is not equal to y. Okay, so we know that it's not equal to y, but what is the relationship? Is it bigger than it or is it uh, smaller than it? So we are dealing with the inequality. Okay, that means it's not equal. And then it's involved only linear in this chapter. That means we only saw sol solving uh, the power one. Okay, we are not involving a quadratic x square or cubic x cube. Okay, so the first is a definition for linear inequality is the inequality which involve a linear function. Okay, so and then in two variables, so we have x and y or A and B, P or Q. Okay, it depends on the question. Okay, so we have some basic symbols. For the first one is smaller than. Okay, so the symbol is like this. So how to use this symbol? We can say that one thing is less than one thing or one thing is smaller than one thing using this symbol. Okay, so x is less than y. So x is less than y. And we have another second symbol is greater than. So x is greater than y. Okay, so you might get confused, right, by these two signs because they are only the direction, right? So um, x is smaller than y. So you just need to see this, okay, this is the open side must be big, okay, so y is the bigger number, okay, so if in this case, x is the bigger number because it's open this side, okay, you just remember this is small and then this is big. Okay, and then we have the third one, we have a line below the smaller than sign. Okay, this is actually means the equal to. So the meaning of this is smaller than or equal to. Okay, so in this case, x is smaller or equal to y. Okay, or in other words, x is not more than y. Not more than means it's smaller and it can be y because it's the it only requests that x is not more than y. So it, it can be equal to or it can be smaller. And we have another sign and greater than. Okay, greater than x is greater than or equal to y. That means x is not less than y. So how to represent a situation in the form of linear inequalities? So here we have a lot of examples. Okay, to hear the first one I've explained it earlier, y is greater than x, right? Okay, so for example, x is greater than 3. So I have a number line here. So this is the number 3. Number line means here we have 4 and then 5 and then continue to positive infinity. And then here we have 2, 1, 0, negative 1 and then continue to negative infinity. Okay, so if 
x is greater than 3. So I can put my uh, circle here and then greater than 3. So I go to the right side because it's greater than. And then this is my value of x. So my x can be 4, can be 5, can be 3.5, can be 4.5. It can be any number that on this line. Okay. So and then I do not shape this. Okay. Later I will I will tell you about the shape shape one shaded shaded circle. Okay. So let's see if x is greater than y. Okay. So just now I put number three here. So now it's replaced by y. So my x is greater than y. So it's like this. So number line can be useful if you are uh, confused in certain questions. So you can try to use the number line. And x is smaller than y. So x is smaller than y. So y is here. And then x is smaller than y. So my x value is here. Okay, it's in this part. Okay, so let's see what if uh, y is greater than or equal to x. Y is greater than or equal to x. So this is my value of x. And where is my y? Greater, right? So I have my circle here, but I need to shade it because it can be equal to. Okay, it can be equal to x. So I shade it and then I draw the number line. This is my y. So from this number line, you can see that y can be equal to x because it's shaded and then it must be bigger than uh, the x okay for smaller we have the same thing y is smaller than x so this is x and then we shade because it can be equal to because of this line and then smaller than smaller than sign this is the value of y okay so we have more like at least k times x or at most, okay? So at least is paling sikit and then at most paling banyak. So this is like multiplication. So you just put kx here and then uh, y. Yeah, so this, you can take a look at all these cases, but you will get a k a uh, clearer idea when we go to the questions. Actually, it depends on your logic thinking, okay, and your understanding of the words. What is the meaning of maximum, minimum, or sum, difference, more than, by at least, okay? So, let's see the first example, okay? So, this is a situation, so we need to represent it in terms of linear inequality. So, you will come up with something like 2x greater than y or something like that. So, represent by the uh, equation. Okay, so this is Puan Hariati sells fried rice. Okay, and then the selling prices of a pack of fried rice with x is 2 ringgit 50 cent. And a packet of fried rice with chicken is 5 ringgit. Okay, so there's a person selling ice cream outside. Okay. And the fried rice with egg. So the difference is uh, egg and chicken, right? Okay. Okay, so the total sell, uh, daily sales should exceed 120 ringgit in order to make a minimum profit. So it must be more than or equal to 120, right? Okay, should exceed to make a minimum profit. Okay, so I, I, I think it should be more than, okay, because it, it should exceed this. So represent the situation in the form of linear inequalities using suitable variables okay so the fried rice fried rice with egg is two ringgit fifty cents so if she sells one packet so we will times one right if she sells two packet we will get times two so it get 
she will get uh, five ringgit. Okay, if she sells four packet of fried rice with egg, you will get ten ringgit, and we times four. But now we don't know how much she sells, so we can put a uh, unknown here. So which is x times x package of fried rice with egg. Okay, so how about the fried rice with chicken? Five ringgit. We don't know how many packets, so we can put a y packets of fried rice with chicken. Okay. So you need to tell. Um, you need to tell that what is the meaning of x and y because you are using an unknown, right? So you let x is the number of fried rice with egg, and your y is the number of fried rice with chicken. Okay, so now we need to represent the situation now. So, 2.5 times x. So, it's 2.5x. This is the, the money that she get by selling this. How about the money that she gets by selling the fried rice with chicken? That means it's 5y. And at the end of the day, these two will get to plus together because it's the total income, right? Okay, so it's a total sales. Okay, should exceed. So these two should exceed 120 because to make a minimum profit. So it should be more than 120 ringgit. So you can check the unit. Be make sure to check the unit uh, in every every question. Okay, so this is RM and this is RN. Uh, sometimes the question says maybe this one in term of cent, all right? Okay, so you need to be careful. Make sure the unit is the same. So 2.5y plus 5y, uh, 2.5x plus 5y greater than 120. So this is your uh, linear inequalities. Okay, we are not using the equal sign now. We are dealing with uh, more than, smaller than, greater equal or smaller equal. Okay, so let's see the question two. So we have x from four students. Okay, x from four students, and then y from five students. We don't know how many yet. Okay, so we use the unknown uh, unknown x and y. They participate in a camp. Okay, the students are selected according to the following conditions. The number of part, uh, the total number of participants, so total number of participants for the camp is at most 20. At most 20, so palibanya dopolo. So the total number of participants is x plus y, means the from four students plus, uh, plus from five students. We select the students, right? So x plus y. At most 20, so if you are not sure, you can draw a number line. Here you put the number 20, at most. So at most is this one, and then it can be 20, right? So I shade it, because most is 20, so I can shade it, and then go to the left. Because 19 is a step, 18 is a step. At most 20 means you cannot go beyond, you cannot go beyond 21, 22 students, no. Okay, so at most 20, so it's going to that side, so I can make the symbol like this, and then it's equal, it's shaded, so I should make uh, this symbol. So the symbol used here sh should be less or equal to. So the number, the answer for A is x plus y. x plus y means the total number of students or total number of participants and should be less or equal to 20. Or in other words, it's at most 20. Okay, let's see question B. The number from five students, from five is y, right? Y students. It's not less than the number from four students. Number from four students is represented by x. Not less than. 
Not less than means it can be more, right? Okay, not less than or equal to. So y should be bigger or more than y. That means that uh, from five students should be more than from four students because they say not less than, cannot less than. Means it can be equal, but it cannot less than. Okay, let's see question C. So this chapter is about your logic thinking. When you see the words, uh, at least five from four students participate in the camp. Okay, we are talking about X, right? Because from four students. So at least five. So if you are not sure, you can draw a number line. Uh, five students, right? So at least five means it can be five. Minimum five, right? Minimum five. So I shade five because five can be. So and then six, seven, eight also can, right? Six, seven, eight because at least five. So I can accept six students, but I cannot accept less than. So this is my uh, my X, right? So my number from four students must be greater or equal to five okay you can follow the sign okay going that way so bigger than five so this is the uh, situation how to represent the situation in the form of linear inequalities so this is the part one so i hope you learn something and keep sharing the videos with more students so and this lesson on this channel is uh, completely free of charge so share the videos and see you in the next lesson and thanks for watching have a good day